Okay, huh, they're using my favorite word, tricky. So they're giving us a tricky one, as in, there's gonna be a lot we need to pay attention to. But it's all gonna be stuff we've done before. So let's take a look. All right, so we're gonna be using our go-to function. So we know with these, we always have to wait for the cat to sleep. Um, now, I'm wondering, that's banana one, that's banana zero. All right, we're gonna have to kind of use some bushes to get around, but I think we can. So let's start with what we know. We have to wait until the cat is sleeping. We're going to wait. Now, after the cat goes to sleep, so not in the loop, I'm gonna head to banana zero. Go to banana zero. All right. Now, I know I'm not done, but, all right. So first, I know that part works. Now, I know the next thing that's gonna go in is I'm gonna need to wait for the cat to go to sleep again. The question is, how do we get efficiently to that other banana? We have to go around. So, I'm gonna use some of these bushes, see what I can do to get us there. Maybe this one, then that one. Let me see. I'm not sure, that might work. Um, so before I forget, let me put until cat sleeping, because that part I'm sure about. So we can't go anywhere until the cat's asleep. Now, um, then we're gonna go to, what have we got here? Push zero, and that is push 15. Wait, that wasn't, yeah, that is push zero. I don't think Originally, I was thinking I could go here and then go around. I actually don't think that's gonna get us there. Um, so I think I'm gonna come back to here and then head there. So let's try bush six. And then go to that bush 15. Um, and then we just have to wait for the banana. So until near bananas. All right, let's see how that works. Oh yeah, we'll make it. 